Okay, and we're back. To more Legend of the Crystal Skull. Oh, where are we? we? got that key. And we're gonna use it. Oh, baby, you better believe I'm gonna use that key. I was gonna say something else. Yay! I'm glad it just opens like that. No problemo, my friends. Alright, you guys, prepared. Yeah. I like how she has to look, whoops, at the, go away! Look at the lock to really open it, or the keyhole. So this is a cool area. I love that, even though it's creepy. And this is pretty interesting too, I always, I always find this interesting. That's useful later. Um, yeah, lot of stuff here. Lots. Especially this. Nice! This must be where I'm supposed to put all the glass eyes I've found. Good. Let's see how we're doing. Deduction. We need a lot of eyeballs. You can make them look though, which is pretty cool. I like this one, the biohazard one. It's quite nice. All right. So first off, going to. There's so much to do in this room. I'm gonna eat some gum. Nami. And isn't that the sound you guys all want to hear is Nancy Chewing? It's such a gross sound. Now you may be wondering, is this another star thing? And you know what? It is. If you eat all the flavors of the gums, you get a star at the end. And, oh my gosh, 100%, even though I won't get the star for- oh, that's pretty. That's a nice color. I won't get the star for the freaking- <laughs> the slider puzzle. Or whatever. Alright. Oh, righty, righty, right. I got this written down right here. I know you guys are probably like, examine that dummy. I will. You're just a dummy, Hugo. I love it. Look at this. He makes sound. D. Uh huh. I really would want one of these, these pirate dummies. And it talks by itself, so you could fool people. So, this is probably the sound that Renee heard. Um, so basically, we're gonna make him say what he said to her, which was, I think, Ba? I wrote this down. Za? Lu? Pa? Di? Mu ka, I think. Mu ka. Go! Chopping. I like his lipstick. <laughs> hey, thank you. Knife for an eye, really. Oh, how did she get her fingers in there? Perfect. And then you can't mess with him ever again. But you can get an achievement for sitting here for like, I don't know, a couple minutes. But we won't really. Uh, I kind of, I want to, but again. Here, Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. Here, Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. Well, that'll be a thing for later. Iguana's hiding in the ventilation, which can't be good. Hopefully it doesn't die in there? Because one, that would be sad. Two, dude, dead Iguana in your ventilation. It's gonna smell awful. Oh, hey, today, right? I don't know, actually. On this day, November 8th, 1952, the Jolly Roger crew of uh, New Orleans hereby invites Dr. Bruno Sinclair Fule to join its hollowed ranks. Okay, speak of this to no one save the man who has championed you and will should uh, or will should you accept this invitation serve as your sponsor during the invitation process. Dr. Gilbert Buford, welcome. Oh, so apparently he was part of a cult. Look at this kinetic energy, timing, timing. Gotcha. Yes, I like how it went back in and then I still got it. And another thing we can't mess with anymore, which is unfortunate. Short stories for tired eyes. Yeah, this is... I'm not gonna read this yet. Because, trust me, we'll read it later. Whoops. Nope, no need to call someone. Go away. Ooh, they look so cool. Bruno, as usual, good time was had. By all your friend. And fellow Jolly Roger Gilbert. Nice. They, they look really cool. I would like to be a part of that club. I like how he has, what are these called? Pliers and then there's teeth there. It's just kind of like, hmm. Duh. One more gum for the road. Nummy, a pink one. That's probably bubblegum flavored. All right. 
chew it a lot. So we gotta use this coin in here. Oh, and an eyeball. See, I told you I'd chew one of these. It's very nice. Can I still use this? I can. Cool. Mmm, <laughs> more stuff to write down. See, Nancy Drew, she never gives you a break. You gotta write everything down. That was middle C, so C. Uh, C again. You can tell because at the bottom it says, okay, C. Was it cubed? Or, no, squared? I don't remember. Cubed. To the third power. E. Double E. Uh, three E's. <laughs> mm -hmm. Write this down because I will forget if I do more. This is middle C. I think it's E C. C. Boing! <laughs> nice jump scare there. Really got me. See, the guys in that last were just not scary enough. They needed more spiders jumping out at you. How many do we have now? Not really that many. Okay. So. There's a bowling game here, you guys. Look at that mouth. It's like Silent Hill 3. This is a fun one. But it takes a while. Honestly. And there's a chicken there because you can get a... Easter egg. And this, honestly, might be a time to fast forward. Shoot. But we actually want the eye first, so I guess we'll just get the eye. This is easy to mess up, though. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go in the middle. Good. Alright, hold on. I'll... Oh my gosh! Okay, I'll do this. Okay, so this was kind of a pain in the butt, but I did it. Shoot! I hate this! Okay, um, I'm trying to stay calm, but this Chuck E. Cheese minigame is actually not that fun. But I'm almost done. I almost got all the eyeballs. Here you go, you guys. Big. Oh, whoops. Well, that's not gonna work. Okay. There you go. Chicken! And I'm gonna get the Easter egg, you can bet your bloomers. There you go! Woo! Oh, wait, I mean. <laughs> My bad. Okay, it's officially. Yay! <laughs> I'm now ready for show business. Sweet! I like that I, it's how I feel about playing this. I gotta get the secret egg later. Because I don't wanna do that again. Alrighty, righty friends. This is the thing. So can I even move this? I can. There you go. Ooh. May 31st? That's today. That's today. Your, your voice sounds so different. Scuttled baby. Alright. Remember when... Oh, the birdies. Remember when... What's his face? Nara caught was like, someone scuttled my boat. Hello? That was a game for people who like boring games. Iggy, come here, Iggy. Got something for ya. <laughs> she sounds evil. Iggy, are you not gonna, huh? Here, Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. Iggy, I thought you liked lo loquats. What's your Iggy. problem? Iggy, oh, Iggy. Huh, apparently Iggy is not gonna be our friend. Okay. Don't be a friend then, Iggy. Let's see. We got a couple things in this room. This is the thing I can't really use yet because it's not a story. I mean, these are stories. They're not. It's not about. Oh, nope. It is something I can use right now. The history of his teeth. Primary teeth history. Oh my gosh. You guys. Exciting mystery. You get to learn about teeth. Filled up a right second molar. How long is this going? It doesn't go on too long. Okay. So, I gotta be right next to this when I do this. I think it's the adult teeth that you're talking about. What are you talking about? Filled 
upper extracted right center incisor then upper left central incisor filled lower left lateral incisor permanent tooth history oh primary teeth that would be these I think baby teeth hmm this takes some writing down <laughs> let's see Filled up a right second molar. I don't know. It's from the patient's perspective, right? Second molar right so would be that one. Second molar is on the right. Huh. This is a lot of stuff to remember. Huh. May have to skip. I like how the lines are... <laughs> what's it called? Pixelated. We're gonna deal with that later. That's a lot of stuff that I have to write down. And I don't feel like doing that right now, so we're gonna go do something else. I know, pick a game that I'm like, eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna do this instead. Because there's a couple things we can do. I'm just putting off the difficult things. Or the stuff that I think is difficult. The last, what does it say? Den something? Den. Denian? Maybe? Uh, buried on my guard will start you a hunting through the graveyard. What's written on the headstone will lead you to another, and so on and so forth till tiny treasure you discover. Oh! The last person buried. Okay, so this is where we use this. Tammy Tasselman. Can I put that down? Or do I put the name down, I think? Terra Siesta. And then we gotta go look for her. And Terra Siesta. But let's get distracted real quick. Ooh. Beautiful. Terra Siesta, where are you? Terra Siesta is all the way up there. Okay. Oh! I love it. I need, like, some <laughs> more ghosts. I need to somehow stop that from happening. I don't know how, though. It just happens. Pop-ups are mean. Or I don't even know what they are. It's like the computer keeps asking me to update, and I'm like, no. Oh, my hand itches. Causes me to turn around. All right. Oh, we still have this, too. Hmm. Oh, see, I saved that piece of paper with the numbers on them. Whoa, did I? Yeah, I did. I wrote them the right way, too. So that's E. Three is E. This is D, right? Oh, that's mostly. Never mind. E. G. Wait, is it D, E, F, okay, F, G, A, B? Wait. That's G. Yeah. A. B. C. High C. Okay. So middle. It was middle C the whole time though. I don't think they even used high C, did they? So it's like... Yes! I am a master. Cool. I like how he just- But this is- Once again, how effective is this? Like, if you want someone to find something, or whose eyes, like, did he have to- Did he do all this before he died? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of- Kind of silly. But I do appreciate it. It's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm just gonna go this way. I don't actually know. That's not the right place. Just go around the bin here. One of these. Terra Siesta. Hmm. Did I have to write down Tasselman? I don't actually know. Tasselman. That looks like the right name. Oh, cool. Terry, Tammy Tasselman. Cool, I'm glad she did that <laughs> by herself. Tasselman! Tammy. Tammy. Um, 
couldn't sleep without a peep, so when they died, the, uh, she died, we buried her deep. Oh, that's charming. So, this is kind of silly. What you're supposed to do is go back. At first, when I played this, I had no idea what to do. I was really confused, because this is kind of a fun cryptic puzzle. Huh, <laughs> get it? Um, but what you're supposed to do is read these names and look for something that's kind of like the first and last name is kind of like a, a word or a phrase. It's you'll see in a second. So I like, couldn't sleep without a oh wait peep, so we buried her deep or whatever. So you gotta look at all these names and find the one that says something like snoring person. I'm serious. It's it's kind of silly, but you, you'll get it. See Owen Moore? That's one that's actually important. Theodore, Claude, Nimbus, Sid, Winston. I will probably speed this up, but I do want to show you the first one. Burn, filled off. The Ford, polyester, Gibbons, Desire, <laughs> Patrick. Trom, Action, Diamond, Russell. And I might miss it too, because there's a lot of names. Gilly, Greg, Alfred, Avenger, Tristan, Edgar, Constant. Constant snoring! There you go! Constance. I'm pretty sure that's the right one. So I'm gonna put it down. Constance. That's gotta be it. See? So it's as simple as that. It's kind of silly, but this is fine. Constant snoring is in Crowing Crips. Now where is Crowing Crips? I don't know where that is, actually. It's up here somewhere. Crowing Crips is... Okay, so I get... To the... Was the fountain even in... I think it was, right? I don't remember. So we will go there in magic time. Crowing Crips. Where are you? Constant snoring. Never early, never late. You guys can probably guess that. Did she write that down? I want to make sure. Oh, I guess I could have just checked. Alrighty, so this one is pretty obvious. We're looking for a Justin, basically. Hey, Justin! Whoops. Uh... Justin, Justin, Justin. Just in time! There you go! Woo! Let's put Justin down. This is, I like this puzzle. That looks like the right name. And there. Where does Justin live? Or die? He's in Sorrow Park. What a nice name. Alright, we're in Sorrow Park. And we got Just in Time. All dressed up with no place to go. This one is kind of weird. I don't remember. Okay, so that was really quick. I think it's Mannequin, but let's see. Because a mannequin is all dressed up but has nowhere to go. There. Whoops. I'm no dummy. Ha! Get it? Because, yeah. Mannequin! Awesome. Where do you reside, Manny? Wait, what the heck? Where is she? Oh, there she is. Sorry. <laughs> My brain was like, what? Rithering Roots Memorial. Where the heck is that? Okay. I always say okay. Died in debt, mannequin. I'm pretty sure I know who this is. Hey, Fraser's in there. <laughs> uh, Owen Moore. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Cause he's in debt. How nice. That looks like the right name. It is. And Owen resides in Sorrow Park. Alright, a stand-up person. Woo, another clue. And back to the house we go. Gosh, this puzzle. <sighs> okay, so this, is, this one's kind of weird. It took me a second. I think kneel down. Because stand-up guy, kneel down. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I was looking for, like, comedian, but... Let's hope Neil is lying down by now. <laughs> we have such respect for the dead. Blah. Alright, so I'm gonna end this here because I think I've gone over time. 
So, in the next episode, we will finish this puzzle, which I... You know what? I don't know if it's, like... It, it's time-consuming. Uh, too bad you couldn't just take this book with you. Like, we have magic paper that doesn't uh, get all gross in the rain, so... But, alas, Nancy Drew is not going to move that book. Maybe it's glued there. Maybe it'll fall apart as soon as you pick it up or something. <sighs> Whatever. So, you guys, I hope you're having a great day or night. And I want you to remember to stay beautiful. Loves.